Welcome to the Custom Aquariums Configuration Tool. This is a tutorial to show the features of the Custom Aquariums Configurator and how to use it to design your own aquarium setup. First, a few things to note. The Configuration Tool is powerful, but it is also a work in progress. Any price that is generated by the tool is an estimate. The final price will be calculated by a customer service representative for you. The configuration tool is not complete and there are still some bugs we are working on fixing. If you find a bug that you cannot skip over or need a feature that has not yet been set up, save your work and contact customer service. The configurator is complex. If you are confused by some of the options, you can skip past that section and get a base price to send to customer service. Someone there will help you finish the setup with all those small details. The configurator tool is located on the home page under the button that says custom build your own aquarium. Click on that button to get started. A complete configuration takes some time and you may want to make changes later. So create a file to save your setups by entering an email address and naming your configuration. We will save it for you so you can return to it at any time. Saving your work will also let you send the configuration to a shopping cart or to customer service when you are ready to make your purchase. Before starting the configuration, please select the basic type of aquarium you are designing. This information will help us improve the configurator. You can use the configuration tool without entering your email, but the configuration will not be saved. Once you have entered your email address and named the configuration, click on Start Now to begin to build your aquarium. Each of the steps are listed in order in the red menu bar at the top of the screen. You can use these links to quickly go back to change parts of your design or skip over steps that you want to do later. The first choice to make is shape and there are three options, rectangle, hexagon, and pentagon corner. For this example, we will choose rectangle. The second choice to make is style, and there are two options, a full aquarium or an amphibious aquarium. The amphibious aquarium has the lower half water and the upper half air. An amphibious aquarium is designed for turtles and paludariums, but they are also excellent enclosures for reptiles and vivariums. For this example, we will configure a full aquarium. The third choice to make is frame. A traditional frame will be our unique anodized aluminum frame on both the bottom and top of the aquarium. A traditional frame on top of the aquarium can hold glass lids or perforated aluminum plates that are available as accessories. A rimless frame will not have that frame on the top, but it will have it on the bottom. There is a limit to the size a rimless tank can be, and the configurator will not let you choose a size tank that cannot be rimless. Sliding doors on the top of the aquarium are available in stainless steel wire mesh or perforated aluminum only. Glass doors are not available. But this is a choice not set up yet in the configurator. Call customer service if you would like a sliding top. For this example, we're going to select the traditional frame. The last step in getting started is to define the dimensions of your aquarium. The measurements that we use are height, length, and depth. The drop-down menus only include standard lengths at 6-inch intervals. If the tank you want to design does not have measurements in the drop-down, Choose Yes to the Do You Need Custom Dimensions question and enter the dimensions you desire. For this example, we will use Custom Dimensions. Click on the Save and Continue button to move to the next screen, but pause a moment to review the Your Configuration box at the right. This section will keep a list of all your options you add to the configuration and show a running estimate of the price. The configurator tool will automatically calculate the least expensive option for the glass panels of the tank, 
with the minimum thickness of glass needed for your dimensions and frame selection to be safe, strong, and dependable. You can upgrade each panel of the tank as you desire. Upgrades include ultra clear, low iron glass, increasing glass thickness, or tempering the glass for added strength. Each panel can be upgraded separately, so you can place ultra clear glass only in the panels that will be viewing windows. The last choice on the panels page is to choose whether or not to paint the back panel, leave it clear, or have a high resolution scenery photo background installed. There are many scenes to choose from, and we can also turn one of your photos into a custom background for your aquarium. For this example, we are going to choose the Mystic Black Painted Background. Now we can save our changes and move on to filtration. Note that the Your Configuration box on the right has been updated. Custom Aquariums manufactures the extremely versatile seamless sump filter system. The basic units of the system are the sock tubs, baffle tubs, and reservoir tubs. The sock tubs are pre-filters that receive water from the tank and capture solid particles in a filter sock. There are multiple sock tub options from a single sock up to the large four sock tub. The baffle tub receives water from the sock tub and contains chambers for biological and chemical filter media on the left side of the internal baffle. A pump chamber is on the right side of the internal baffle. There is also room in a baffle tub for a large aquarium heater. The reservoir tub is an additional chamber that can be used as an evaporation tub, a refugium, or any other use you can think of. There are multiple options for reservoir tubs. The possible combinations of these basic tubs are almost endless, and building a system for your configuration can be daunting. So we have designed the configurator to offer packages based upon the type of aquarium you want and the optimum flow rate of water through the filter. The top of the filtration page describes the recommended flow rate on different types of aquariums. The flow rate describes the number of times per hour you want the water in the tank to flow through the filter. More flow is not always better. The filters do need some time to clean the water. When you have decided on the flow rate you want, look in the Your Configuration box to find the approximate total gallons of the aquarium. Multiply that value by the flow rate you want through the filter. For this example, the approximate total gallons is 265. The flow rate descriptions in the configurator have already multiplied the gallons by the flow rate, and the desired gallon per hour estimates appear in red. In the max flow rate box, choose the flow rate that is one level higher than the value of the flow rate calculation. In this case, the next highest rate over 1590 is 2400 gallons per hour. So we will select that option. You can also choose a higher flow rate in case you want to increase flow rate through the system in the future. Decreasing the flow rate through a filter system is possible but increasing flow rate in a filter system that is not designed for it is not possible. The footprint length box will be automatically set to the length of your tank in inches. This option will remove all filtration options that will not fit in that length of space. If you will have more or less space for filtration than the length of your tank, adjust the footprint length accordingly. For this example, the footprint length is 60 inches. Now that the chart is set with the options, you can pick the package you want or choose the No Filtration option at the top of the chart to skip the step and move on. You can add filtration later with the help of customer service. The option chosen for this example includes a double sock tub with two elbows feeding the water into a baffle tub and a reservoir tub. The maximum flow rate for this system is listed at 2400 gallons per hour more than the calculation, but getting a filter that lets you increase flow rate is a good idea. Decreasing the flow rate in a filter is possible, but increasing the flow rate beyond its maximum capacity is not. Once you have selected your filtration, click on the Save and Continue button to move to the next step.
The next step in the configuration is to determine the size and number of returns to add to the system. The patented siphon stopper emitter is the nozzle through which water will be returned to the tank from the filter. The siphon stopper cap can prevent a back siphon event that would flood the filter system during the loss of power to the pumps. The configuration program will recommend the size and number of emitters to add based upon the filter system chosen. The recommendations appear at the top of the page in red. For the best results, choose the option with the complete fitting with bulkhead and elbow in the size recommended. The complete fitting will have all the parts needed to install the siphon stoppers. The overflow system is the equipment through which water will leave the tank and flow to the filter. It is very important that the number of overflows have a combined flow rate that is equal to or exceeds the flow rate of the filter system. The basic unit of the custom aquarium system is the H2 overflow screen. Each of these overflows can handle up to 1200 gallons of water per hour flowing into the filter. H2 overflow screens can be installed directly or used in conjunction with an H2 overflow stealth box. A stealth box is an external overflow box that is very helpful in high flow rate systems to quiet the sounds of water leaving the tank. A single stealth box can be used with up to three H2 overflow screens and have a maximum flow rating of 3600 gallons per hour. At the top of the overflow product chart, the configurator will tell you the total number of H2 overflow screens you will need to match the flow rate of your filtration. Choose the overflow option you prefer, keeping the 1200 gallons per hour flow rate per screen in mind. This example needs a 2400 gallons of flow total, so we will choose the two screen stealth box. Overflow accessories are not included with the overflows themselves. Select the accessories that you need. If you are not sure what to add, you can skip choosing the accessories and a customer service representative will make sure that you are not forgetting anything you need when you place your order. The next section of the configuration tool determines the number of holes that need to be drilled in the tank and where to drill them. If you are not planning to use the siphon stopper emitters or the H2 overflow screens and do not need holes in your tank, choose the No option to the holes question and click Continue to move to the next section. If your aquarium will need holes, choose the Yes option. The most important part of this section with regards to the price estimate is to have the correct number of holes. The configurator will tell you the number of holes you need for the number of H2 overflows and or siphon stoppers you have chosen. Adjust the number of holes to the number that you will need and when you save this section the price for those holes will be added to the estimate total. The tool will also let you place the holes in the aquarium but there is no added cost associated with hole placement, so skip this part and let a customer service representative do it for you when the order is placed. If your configuration includes stealth boxes instead of individual H2 overflows, answer yes to the question at the bottom of the screen. You can enter the number of inches from the left side of the aquarium where you would like the center of the stealth box to be placed or skip this step. But it is important to match the flow rate of the stealth box you have selected with this flow rate drop down so that the configurator will add the correct number of holes to the estimate total. If you choose to enter hole placement distances into the configurator, when you click save and view the diagrams of your hole placements will appear. Hole placements are not final until inspected by a customer service representative. Click Yes for glass tops and the correct number and size of tops will be added to the estimate. There are three possible options for stands in the configurator. A steel only frame is a welded steel stand with no cabinetry around it. A wood only frame is a wood cabinet stand. 
A wood and steel frame is a wood stand reinforced with a steel frame. The configuration tool will only show the options that are applicable to the size and weight of your tank. Please note that the lifetime guarantee on a custom aquarium's tank is limited to tanks that are placed on a custom aquarium's stand. No stand, no lifetime warranty on the tank. Once you have decided on the type of stand, choose the height that you want it to be. Please note that if you intend to put a seamless sump sock tub inside the stand, you will need to choose a 30 inch or taller stand to be able to fit the tub inside with plumbing. After selecting the height of the stand, a menu will open to let you choose the style and finish you desire. The next section offers you the same choices for a canopy. If you would like a canopy, the configurator will remind you of your style and finish choices from the stand section so that your canopy will match. The last section of the configurator with options to choose from offers many different accessories including pumps, lights, heaters, and anything else you may need for your aquarium. If there is a specific piece of equipment that you want that is not in the configurator, ask a customer service representative to find it for you. We can provide accessories from just about any major brand. One important accessory to add is the premium cellular pad that is placed between the tank and the top of the stand. This cellular pad is also required for the lifetime warranty of the tank. This section of the configurator is also where you will find hoses and fittings for the filtration system, but a customer service representative will make sure that you order what you need when you place your order. Once you have selected your accessories, Click Save to move to the Summary page. On the Summary page, you can review your configuration and see the estimated total. Keep in mind that this price will probably change when you go over your order with a customer service representative and add or remove things from the configuration. This is especially true if you skipped over steps in the process to get help from customer service. When you are finished with your configuration, you have a couple options. You can send your configuration to a shopping cart and follow through with a purchase. Rest assured that no actual payment will be made until a customer service representative has talked to you about the order and finalized all the details. You can also place the order in a cart and get a link that you can use to share it. Send that link to customer service through the website's contact form and a customer service representative will contact you about your order. You can also choose to not send the configuration to the shopping cart at all. Your work has been saved and can be referenced with your email and the name you assigned the configuration. When you contact customer service through email, the website, or by phone, the customer service rep can use this information to access your configuration. The Custom Aquariums Configurator is a powerful tool to help you design your dream aquarium and also to help us make sure that we are providing everything that you need and want. Dream big, dream often, make as many configurations as you want, and when you have the perfect aquarium ready to order, we are here to make your dream tank a reality.